Hey everybody and welcome back to Empty Pockets Ironworks. Thank you for joining me again this week. For today's project I've actually got a really simple one. Uh, I'm not breaking the mold. It's probably something that's been done a hundred times before. In fact there's probably a video out there with something very similar to it. But as with most blacksmithing, if you search for it it's going to bring up ten items that are probably pretty close to the same. Uh, for those of you that stick to it and watch my channel, I really appreciate you. And I appreciate you so much I have actually finally gotten around to finalizing the first batch of templates. I'm releasing three of them. If you're watching this video, they are now available. So what you need to do if you're interested in a template is to head over to facebook.com forward slash EP Ironworks. If you're not already a fan, you should be, you know, click like, subscribe to the page, that sort of thing. You know the drill. Anyway. Without uh, going too much into it, first template that's available is, of course, our ever famous skull face template. I've had a lot of requests for that. It has alternate versions that are marked out on it so that you can kind of pick and choose what you want it to look like. Second is our ever so popular, and I've made probably 150 of these since starting, our roses. Now, there's a lot of rose templates out there. I'd like to say ours are a little bit better. And the only reason for that is because when you print it out, it's to the, uh, it is to the exact size and shape that I start out with. Quarter inch hole in the center. Uh, of course, you can fluctuate that. You can make it suit your needs. Uh, printing wise, print it on regular paper, transfer it to a uh, cardboard or poster board. That way you have it for future use. And I would like to say that our particular design after being tried and proven is really one of the best out there. It works really well for us. It's a really good seller. If you watch a couple of the videos that I do with the roses, you'll see me using the exact same style of template. So now that is available to you. Also, last but not least, the most exciting one of all, the deer skull. Now, the original deer skull template. I claim that. I put... Uh, I put my stock into it, and the reason being is because when I did my first deer skull like a couple years ago, I think I'm the only person that's ever really designed a usable template uh, for doing the base of the skull. Now, I say that, it's a vast world out there, but in my Google searches and searches throughout the internet, I haven't found anything else that is quite feasible for those purposes. So. I'm claiming it, I made it, I did it, and now you can do it too. So, what you need to do, like I said, head over to facebook.com forward slash EP Ironworks, shoot my wife a message, she'll get back to you as soon as she can. These are going to be available for download via PDF. She will send you an email with the PDF link of the template that you want. Templates are going to be, I'm an artist, I gotta get paid, okay? Templates are five dollars a piece, okay? $5 a piece for a template. I don't have any bundles yet. We may do something later on, especially for supporters or um, we're not quite to the Patreon level yet, but if we ever get supporters and that sort of thing on YouTube, I will maybe include like the duck skull, the, you know, the, the, uh, the cow skull, the raven skull, just different things that I've done template wise, some of our crosses and other things. Uh, of course, they're all hand-drawn by me. They'll be available for download. Like I said, may do bundles in the future. Uh, of course, there'll be a discount if we do that. Uh, but for right now, these are the three that are going to be available via Facebook. So if you're watching this video, they are available now. You can head over there, hit my wife up. We'd be more than happy to uh, spread a little EPI love everywhere and get those to you. So, without going on for too long, let's get started on today's project. Alright, so don't crucify me, but this old miter box saw is going to get a new lease on life. Basically, I'm going to utilize a piece of this bone, or horn, deer antler, I guess I should say. We're going to cut out an ulu shape out of this. And then we're going to use some of this brass rod to make some pins make a handle for it. Simple project, right? But I think we might forge a little stand for it and then give this thing a new lease on life, put it back into being a usable tool again. 
I honestly don't have any use for it. And really, quite frankly, you can pick these up for next to nothing at yard sales. In fact, this is probably like the fifth one that I found just this last yard sale season, and it was pretty slow thanks to COVID.